What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to screen pump in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Just before getting into this video, I'd like to say this was a requested tutorial, as you can see right here, I got this asked me on Skype. If you have a tutorial you want me to do, be sure to ask me on Skype, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you'd like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. So right now you can take a look at what we're going to be creating. Just before I show you how to actually do the screen pumps, the video was from these people right here, so yeah, credit to them for the video. So, the next thing, you'll need some music, you'll need your video clip, and that's about it. Let's get into it. So, I've chosen a rap beat for this, probably not the best type of music, I'd probably recommend Trap, but of course those that are watching this video probably already know what type of music they'll need, and yeah, let's get into it. So, this is where the beat actually drops, so I'll play it from here. So you can see that's where the kick gets in, and that is where we want it to go on the shot. So what I'm going to do is come to the music here, and go there, press S, and delete the remaining side. So now we've got it where it just starts, like that. Now I'm going to line this up with the shot, so I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel, use the arrows left and right, and as soon as that shot hits like that, I'm going to go ahead, drag it there. So now as soon as the shot hits, the music's going to drop. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drag the music out like this and add a little fade in like so. Now getting to the actual screen pumps. What we need to do is go to every kick in the music. And the way we do that, just go through and press M on your keyboard. This lays down a marker like this. And then, yeah, we just got to go through like that. So this is the first one. So we go ahead and press M and that's a marker. And now we want to go through all of them and just find every part where the kick actually is. So... So another one right here, and yeah, this is the way we've got to do it. It's a bit of a slow process, however, if you do take your time, you're going to get a nice effect in the end. So I'm going to keep going like this, and yeah, you probably get the idea of it now, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward all this part, and I'll be back to you when I've got it done. So I'm done with all the screen pump positions and I'm just going to shorten the video down just so we don't have to go through all of it like this. Okay, so these are in position. Everywhere the kick is, is where the orange marker is. Now if you don't have an M on your keyboard or your M's are messed up, you can also come here and then go to insert and just go ahead and press marker and it's going to insert a marker like that. Now as you can see, there's actually 19 screen pumps in this video. I've laid down 19 markers for the screen pumps, now let's get into how we do it. So, come to each marker and press S on your keyboard to split the clip. If you don't have an S or your keyboard's messed up again, right click and click split. And it's going to split it like that. So you've just got to keep going through, click and split. And I'm going to fast forward this part again. Okay, that was quick. Now all we need to do, come to the first video where the little split is. Come to the event panel and crop. Now you want to make sure this is checked right here, sync cursor. You want to make sure this is checked, enable snapping, you want to make sure this is checked, lost luck aspects ratio, and you also want to make sure size about center is also checked. Now, come to the bottom here, now use your arrow keys, go one, two, across, then come and drag this in twice like that, then you can come one, two, out, then right click and click restore. Now depending on how fast you want the screen pump, this is how you'll change it. So if you want a slower one, you'll bring it further out, so you can do like five out, and then another five to put it back in. So yeah, hopefully you get the idea. So once you've done that first one, all you need to do, right click, click copy. Now, just go right click on the next video, click paste event attributes. And you've just got to keep doing this for all of them. And yeah, 
Again, I'm going to fast forward this part and I'll be back to you when I've done it. Okay, there we go. Again, nice, simple and quick. Now the screen pumps are all in place. Let's go ahead and watch what we have created so far. As you can see, that is it. It is really simple to do. It can be time consuming depending on how long you want the screen pumps to go on for. Of course, I could keep going on. But yeah, the more time you take, obviously, the better the effect's going to look. I had to rush it a little bit just because I wanted to make it a quick tutorial for you to follow. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like I said at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Facebook, ask me wherever you like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page, I suppose Game News and Technology News Daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week, check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what to do throughout my day. See you, it's been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.